Hi boys and girls. So today we're going to read Sofia Valdez, Future Prince, and it's by Andrea Beatty and is illustrated by David Roberts. If you remember yesterday's story, Rosie Revere Engineer, this story is also made by the same author and the same illustrator. So let's get started with our story. Sophia was a baby who got things done, helping her family before she turned one. She and Abuelo went out every week to help her and to help elderly friends around New River Creek, who couldn't get out and about on their own and with no place to gather, were stuck home alone. Breaking the leaves, taking pets for a walk, or just dropping by for a treat and a talk. Sofia Valdez did as much as she could for her family and friends and her whole neighborhood. A dreamer, a doer, a real-life go-getter. Most people liked good, but Sofia liked better. Each morning, Abuelo walked Sophie to class. They walked home again along Blue River Pass, making plans, munching cookies. Abuelo and girl, except for that Tuesday when Pup saw a squirrel and howled. Pup took off, racing all through the town, over, under, beneath, and around. Sophia scrambled to try to keep up with the hollowing man and the bellowing pup. Up the squirrel ran to the top of a hill, made of leftover junk for a local landfill. They reached the tip top of the mountain of trash, which jiggled and broke in an ear-splitting crash. Down they all tumbled and hit with the thud on a moldy old pumpkin surrounded by mud. Ouch! cried Abuelo. He struggled to stand. A dangerous mess, he said, grasping her hand. The next day, Sofia walked to school solo, but it wasn't the same without her Abuelo. That's not right, declared young Sofia, who glared at Mount Trashmore and got an idea. She does not look happy. <laughs> Let's see what her idea is. The very next morning at half past dawn, she planted a sign at the front of the lawn. She stood back and smiled and Pup gave a bark. Get rid of Mount Trashmore. Let's build a new park. Ooh, so that's a pretty good idea that she has to build a new park. Let's see what happens. Each of her neighbors had something to say about benches and fountains and places to play. Meeting spots, gardens, basket for bees, a rubber duck pond, and a kiosk for cheese. She drew every thought of her map of the park, which was perfectly perfect, by a quarter till dark. She drifted to sleep in her soft, cozy bed. Then BAM! She woke up with the, when a thought smacked her head. Her heart skipped a beat as she realized each one of her neighbors had said, Let me know when it's done. They all thought Sophia could build it all alone. But how could one girl do so much on her own? The weight of that thought made her tender heart ache as night thunder growled and she lay wide awake. Then dawn brought a storm and the gloomy sky wept and the heart sick Sophia finally slept. Abuelo baked cookies when Sophie got up. He gave her a bag full and sneaked one to pup. He blinked Back hurt be tear as he hugged the Sofia. For courage, he whispered, Te amo, mi vida. Sofia's knees wobbled. She felt weak inside. She looked at his ankle and quite nearly cried. Though she didn't feel brave or courageous at all, Sofia Valdez went to face City Hall. Oh, she feels sad and she feels... She doesn't feel brave. She doesn't feel courageous. Let's see what else happens in the story. There she is, that city hall. Big, big building. Let's see. The mayor's office sent her to her room, 401, the Blue River Creek Department of Fun, which sent her downstairs to room 302, to the office of duck ponds and cool things to do, to the office of monkeys, the department of cheese, the division of fountains, and a and meetings and bees. Then down to the basement was so musty and cramped where all the town's papers were sorted and stamped. And that's where the clerk said then what no one else did. You can't build a new park. You're only a kid. 
the words Mike Sophia deep down in her heart. Her plan was kibushed before it could start. I think, said Sophia, I think that law's wrong. But her second grade voice didn't sound very strong. The clerk said, clearly, it cannot be done. Do you have any questions? Sophia said, one, if you were me, and if I was you, and he was your grandpa, what would you do? I, well, said the clerk. Then she said nothing at all. She thought that, and she thought. Then she sent out a call to every employee throughout City Hall. The entire government of Blue River Creek crammed into the office to hear Sophie speak, but her words jumbled up and her cheeks tur turned bright red as dozens emotions rushed into her head. Her heart beat so loudly she thought it would crack. The crowd leaned in closer. Sophia leaned back. Then her arm brushed the edge of the old cookie sack. And that was the moment when Sophia first knew being brave means doing the thing you must do. Though your heart cracks with fear, though you're just in grade two. So look at Sophia. She looks really, really nervous. All those grown-ups in the room. Let's see what else, what else happens. She took a deep breath. She looked the mayor in the eye. And though her knees wobbled, she held her head high. Sophia started talking. She spelled out her plan and why it all mattered and how it began. And when she got rolling, she had lots to say about meeting spots, monkeys, and places to play, and other ideas for things they could do to help the town elders and other folks too. She had thoughts on the library, thoughts on the zoo, and perhaps a way to combine the two. And then the others joined in, not all, but a few, like Miss Lila Greer and the kids in grade two. Isn't that beautiful? Look, Sophia's trying to make a difference and build a park, and all her classmates joined her. They have signs that say, scientists need parks, give bees a chance, a park to think in, architects are parks. Ooh, do you recognize that one? Yes, that's Iggy Peck. Other signs say, we can do it. It says, si sí se puede, and we need more green. That is so awesome. There were hearings and surveys and taxes to figure, then bulldozers, cranes, and a blue digger, bigger digger. They all built that park. That's how it got done with the hard work of, by, and for everyone. But it began with the dream of one person, just one, who laced up her shoes and then led the way to help Blue River Creek get a new chance, to, new, a new place to play. Now, every evening, so long after dark, the town comes together at Citizens Park. They all hold this truth to be self-evident, that Sofia Marlis could grow up to be president. Until then, Sofia, the real-life go-getter, helps Blue River Creek get better and better. The end, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this awesome story about Sofia Valdez. It's a great story that tells you that sometimes our plans may seem silly to other people. Our ideas can seem a little crazy to other people, but that's okay. If you have an idea, you should try. You should try it because you never know. You could end up changing the world just like Sofia Valdez. Okay, boys and girls, don't forget to submit your story maps. Um, have them done and ready. So when you have to submit them on Friday, you don't have any, any other work to do. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.